point of a trade war. There wasn't a trade war when you were on the watch in China. There wasn't a trade war for the next Asia. There wasn't a trade for the unbalanced. Now we got a trade war. Well, the book I wrote a few years ago that you were kind enough just to flash on the screen uh, spoke about an un, uh, a, a relationship that was unsustainable and that was on a, a difficult uh, course. It, it did not anticipate uh, an aggressive um, new U.S. president who would initiate mm -hmm. uh, the trade war with um, large-scale tariffs. But it, it underscored the, the, the idea that uh, the United States has uh, trade deficits uh, right now with 102 countries, in large part because we don't save. Uh, and the biggest piece of that is, is with China. Uh, and so we had a, a president now who is uh, anti-China, just as he was anti-Japan uh, in the 1980s, and believes that you can address these problems country by country. But when you have 102 countries uh, that are, um, are you're in deficit with, uh, right. that's a fool's game. It won't work. The heritage of Yale University in the study of China goes back to Jonathan Spence in those mines in Taiwan when they took the treasures from Beijing with Chiang Kai-shek over to Taiwan. And it leads up to Stephen Roach at Yale University and the modern China. Throughout all of that was a belief that mercantilism was something from the 17th century or maybe the early 18th century. Is it a mercantilist America, and do we do that at our peril? Well, I think um, we're looking at only half the story, Tom. We're looking at trade and um, uh, the dark side of trade and what it is presumed to do to jobs and um, uh, wages and the character of our um, society that's been most exposed to trade. But what we fail to see is that trade is the the other side of a coin uh, of a nation that has for a long time lived beyond its means and needs the foreign capital and the trade deficits uh, to um, square the circle. So we, it's, it's, it's ludicrous for us to be critical of country after So he brought up a very interesting perspective. I did not consider that, that the trade war I understand is terrible, but he makes up a great point where uh, you know, China's not the only culprit in this uh, trade deficit, and it's just the way the U.S. has uh, been set up, and it's really due to outsourcing. So, uh, obviously, uh, Trump is going to try to renegotiate better deals, but the fundamental problem is the American economy and how it's based on consumption. Uh, and that's why, you know, we did have this crazy bull market, and uh, unfortunately, uh, it might be coming to a end, especially if Chinese markets and U.S. markets can't get along. And uh, that could be the catalyst for a crypto rebound if uh, we see a global recession. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.